Let's jump into a quick tour of On One No Noise AI and check out some of the common areas we'll be using when we're modifying the noise in our images. So right off the bat, when I open up a photo inside of No Noise AI, I am zoomed in to 100% on my image and I get this preview bar. Now the preview bar allows me to preview between the original photo on the left and the No Noise modification to the right. So I can see up in here in the backdrop behind our bird here, we have a lot of noise. Well, on the right side, we have that no noise modification and it's taking away all of that noise in the photo. So if we don't want that preview bar up, we can just head down here to the bottom and we can toggle this off and on here. We can also toggle on the preview of the edit and the original with this option. We can do the same thing with the backslash key on our keyboard. If you need to zoom in, you may have noticed that I was using this zoom tool here. This is going to allow us to zoom in and out of our photo. We can also just click on the photo to zoom out and then click on it to zoom in. On the right-hand side, we have our nav, levels, info, and history. The navigation is going to show us where we're at inside the image. I can also move this around to modify the view. I have my levels, which will show me the histogram, I have the info tab showing me the camera, lens, and file information. And then we have the history tab, which will show us all of the editing steps that we've taken with this photo. I'm just gonna go back to nav here and I'll just probably stay in this screen for the majority of the tour here. And below the four tabs up top, we have our layers and our details. Now let's jump into layers uh, just in a minute, but for now, let's talk about this details pane first, because we have this apply button here that will allow us to lock and unlock these details that we're using to modify the noise. Now, this is very important when you're using no noise AI, because without this pane locked, you won't be able to go into your layers pane and you won't be able to go into these other areas, especially this left side where your tools are. So, in the details pane, if we make noise modifications here, let's say we pull up on our luminance a bit and we add in some detail, maybe make some sharpening adjustments, we can choose this apply button here. This is going to apply these edits and it's going to lock this details pane. Now we have this lock icon. And now we can open up our layers pane here. We can uh, duplicate this layer if we need to. So we have two separate layers if we need to maybe sharpen the top and then leave uh, the bottom noiseless, you know, whatever it may be, we can use this layers pane to do that. But again, that won't be available unless you lock this details pane. Same thing with the tools over here. So this tool well on the left, this is going to house the different tools you can use to crop your image and also modify the masks within the layers pane. And you can also use it to retouch if there's any blemishes or imperfections on your scene. So we have our crop tool, we have our masking options, we have our refining tools, and we have our retouch tools. And if you're not sure what they do, you can just hover over them and it will give you a little description. And you can also head over to a video with this learn how to learn more about using them. Down here to the left, we have our preferences. We can select that to open up our preferences. And then we can select this icon. This will pull up our learning hub. Now, I actually chose this show at launch, or I disabled this show at launch option, but if you want to show this learning hub at launch, you can select this, and now this will pop up every time you open, the open up No Noise AI so you can see these different tabs within the learning hub of the application. Now, on the bottom right, we have the reset all, we have our previous, cancel, done, and we have export. So the reset all option will reset all of the settings that we've modified on this photo. We can cancel the edit if we don't want to continue the edit. And then we can choose done or export to export that image. So if I choose export, I now have this export dialog, which we'll dive deeper into later on in the training course. We can also hide this tab over here to the right by selecting this icon here. 
And now we have a larger screen preview of our image.